I'm Jesse Jacobs and I'm here today at Samovar Tea Lounge and I'd like to talk about it and what it means to me and what it means to the world outside. I created this place, Samovar, in San Francisco as a destination, or really as an escape. I think that um, human connection at the end of the day is really what life is all about. And so tea helps human connection. It actually facilitates two people connecting on a much deeper level or facilitates me connecting with myself on a much deeper level by stopping the routine of my day to day and allowing me to explore the brewing, the aroma, the taste, the aftertaste, the whole experience of this one simple leaf. Well, I would say that it came to me personally when I was working in the tech world. Uh, I would say the high tech corporate life that was nonstop and relentless and I really never understood what my time was about. One day working at a cubicle farm, I um, was drinking a nice oolong and I looked up for a moment and realized that the oolong was where I wanted to be. And that sounds funny, but um, the experience with having a delicious tea is really like a mini spa experience. It takes you away. The whole specialty artisanal food world out there that's happening, it's sustainability as well, fair trade, the whole notion of supporting and paying fair prices all the way to the farmer level is something that people are appreciating. So I opened here in about 2002 in the Castro location in San Francisco on 18th and Sanchez. A few years later, opened here in downtown San Francisco in what is known as Yerba Buena Gardens. And this is really home to a tourist destination as well as convention goers, as well as a lot of locals who live and work downtown. Really, this is our flagship store. And then most recently, last year, we opened in what we call a Zen Valley which is at the corner of Page and Laguna. It's right across the street from the San Francisco Zen Center. In this business, Samovar, we're in the business of creating love. And tea is the vehicle. So by turning off wireless connections, i.e. we don't offer Wi-Fi, we're actually encouraging people to connect physically. So we encourage disconnecting to connect. And it really comes down to mindfulness. Whether or not you're a spiritual person, bringing in a mindfulness aspect i.e. the notion of being aware of what I'm doing or what I'm not doing allows me to connect at a much different level. So if I'm going to be here having tea with you or if I'm going to be checking my email, how can I do one or the other but not both? Choosing to do one or the other eventually rewards me much deeper on each of those experiences. The other thing that we like to look to is actually great tea needs great food to be paired with it. It's much more enjoyable. So we make a point of designing all of our food items with local seasonal, sustainable fare that really pairs with the cultures of the different teas. So for example, here I'm drinking a first flush Japanese sencha and we pair with this a meal called the maki bowl. Super healthy, very Japanese to be paired with the Japanese tea. We then have a Moorish mint tea with a Moroccan style tea service, a Russian service, a Japanese, a Chinese, an English. We look to the different cultures of the world and pair the foods and the teas with those cultures. Also, we have a huge variety of vegan, vegetarian, dairy, non-dairy, gluten-free items to satisfy every dietary need under the sun. So my belief in tea is that it's a lot like going to the farmer's market. There are seasonal teas, there are non-seasonal teas. And to purchase tea in season, fresh, in small batches is the best way. It's better for the farmer because they're farming sustainably and don't have to use pesticides and herbicides to do huge scale farming. It's better for the consumer because they're having something more delicious and more fresh. And it's better for us because it's much more interesting to offer seasonal menu items and teas that come and go and that are not guaranteed to exist ever again. So when you think of coming to Samovar or experiencing or enjoying tea, if you're familiar with the art world, the negative space is as important and valuable as a positive space. And it's something you can look to as just as beautiful. Out of all your to-do lists and all your email, and all of your responsibility, there's this negative space here that you can fill and that becomes expansive. Even if it's for one cup of chai for five minutes, this negative space can expand and reward you for days or weeks to come. We're here to sustain you, our customer, with healthy and delicious food and drink. And we're here to sustain our staff, people here who work here, who look to Samovar's livelihood. And we're here to sustain our farmers, people who halfway across the world support their livelihood, support their families by picking leaves for us here. So please visit and enjoy.